So first one, the first derivative is 3x squared minus 6x. The second derivative is 6x minus 6. Now you see, when x is equal to negative 1, let's see the second derivative. So 6x minus 6 when x is equal to negative 1. We know that's less than 0. So less than 0 is concave down. So concave down. So when x is equal to 7, let's see the second derivative when x is equal to 7. So you see this is the 42 minus 6 is definitely greater than 0, so concave up. Okay, the next question. Here is concave down. You from this C, you know this is C, then here is concave up. Point of inflection, here inflection, right? Then you get here become concave down, concave up. So you get A, C, this interval, and F, G. So this one, this, and here. Because we don't have this actual function given. You know this at this point and this point. So x equals c or x equals f. This is second derivative. It definitely when x equals c or x equals f goes zero. That's called point of inflection because this here before that second derivative less than zero because concave down. Here is up. Here is again less than zero then greater than zero. So that's here, this point here, when x equals c and f, from less than 0 to greater than 0, this is 0. Number 3, let's do the derivative. First derivative is x cubed, because 4 jump down, right, cancel out the denominator. Here is 3 over 2x squared minus 6x. Second derivative is 3x squared plus 3x minus 6. You actually could see here. Negative infinity all the way go here. Here is a inflection point. Here also have an inflection point. So concave up, right? Concave down, concave down here, then concave up again. So here all the way here, concave up, second derivative greater than zero. Here because concave down, so second derivative less than zero. Here up again, so second derivative greater than zero. Those inflection point is equal to zero. So f second derivative, right, equals zero. It's not very hard to locate. So negative infinity to negative two is a concave up, right? Then one, just this one is not very easy to locate, but you can so one to infinity is also concave up. Negative two to one is concave down. This is concave down. Volify, right? F second derivative when Second derivative when x equals negative 2. You replace x by negative 2. You could verify h is negative 2 squared of 4, right? It's 12 here is negative 6, so it's 0. Or you could get another one. So when x equals 1, the second derivative also is 0. Because 1, so 3 plus 3 minus 6. Now you get this answer, right? This then this middle, this one, it, negative 2 to 1 is uh, concave down. Located the point of inflection. We know you need to get the original function. Original function is this. And skip all those steps. Then x equal 1. You, you also go to the original f of x, not f prime or second derivative, x equal 1. So you will get those two answers.